Yeah, hungry! And a photo highway on my plate continues its journey down the coast, down National Highway 17, and we are headed for places which are powerhouses of cuisine, Udupi and Mangalore. But where we are right now, National Highway 17, heading out from Sri Murudeshwar and heading into Udupi, this place is absolutely stunning. And we've seen wild boar, we've seen porcupines, we've seen a huge amount of birds, and they all live here. But we've not seen the truck that's about to come and knock Rocky down. There it comes! When on the highway, remember, always stay safe, otherwise you'll be roadkill. Look right. Look left and then head down that way towards Udupi where there's a lot more to eat than just idlis, dosas and vadas that you always think of when you think of the Udupi, the restaurant chain, not the place. We're looking forward to all that. But before we do that, here's a grand message of gratitude and thank you for the great Delhi government who's decided to ban plastics. Well done, let's give them a hand. Uh, eh, eh, eh. And the country should follow suit. And the reason why I say that, take a look at the water down there. You will see horrible plastic. <laughs> That's our message to all of you from Apollo Highway on my plate. Please be socially responsible and environmentally careful. Shall we go eat? <laughs> yes. Welcome to one of the most beautiful coastlines in this country. National Highway 17 coming down the coast from the west has some really, really bad patches, but not this patch. About 50 kilometers short of ODP, for seven or eight kilometers, this beautiful road with the ocean on our right and the beautiful backwaters lined with coconut palms on our left has got to be one of the most beautiful roads in India. And when you're along for a beautiful ride, make sure you stop for very important things like this, the coconut. All you have to do is pop it open and give it to a friend who will then put a straw in it and proceed to drink it. And in case you're still thirsty, Make sure that you have one for yourself. Now, this is a really, really versatile fruit, vegetable, nut, whatever it is. The coconut is a very important coastal presence. It was first found here in fossilized remains between 27 million and 55 million years ago. So people think that the coconut actually started from India and I tend to agree. The coconut is actually a seed, not a fruit, not a nut. And that's your first interesting fact about the coconut. The second interesting fact about coconuts, that it has medicinal value. So if you're ever in a case where someone's dehydrated and you don't have the replenishing fluid, you can use coconut water instead. And if you can't drink it, it can also be taken intravenously. And that has been done in World War II. Now, the coconut is not just used for drinking and eating because you can also eat the tender flesh inside. The coir or the shell is used to make ropes, thatches for roofs, parts of boats, flotation devices for catching fish and storing them on and a huge range of other stuff. In fact, if you can think of more coconut things to do, write into us at yummy at ndtvgoodtimes.com and tell us uses for coconuts. Basically what we're saying is that a coconut can never be harmful for you, except if you're walking on a tree and one falls on your head. Yes, or if you put a finger on the coconut and somebody cuts it with this which is known as a kati. This coconut seed, when it's dropped into an ocean, can travel for years and years. And when it lands somewhere, it can still sprout a beautiful coconut tree. It's amazing all sorts of stuff that wash up when you're standing by the sea. I'm not being able to cut it. Uh, will you just hold it while I take a big swing? This is a coconut. Yes. This is not a nut. Really? Just put it here next to your jugular and I'll just swing. Ready? 96, 34, 23, hut, hut, hut. It was in 1999, as he was finishing his MBA, Tallur Shiva Prasad Shetty decided that Udupi needed something spicy, something unique, something hot, and something non-vegetarian in terms of restaurants. And so he opened this Thambulan. Thambulam is bang opposite Kalpana Theatre. And the word Thambulam is very interesting. Traditionally, it's an offering that you give on a leaf with betel nut, with coconut, some money, other things. And it signifies that you've extended and ended to a bond with the other person, the person you give the thambulam to. Thambulam. Thank you. What are you promising me? What bond is this? I will never eat your food, which I find horrendous and wasteful. Thank I you. won't punch you in the nose for being disrespectful to my food. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you.
India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.